and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the best set in Madden, what you need to do right now. Now, guys, as you guys know, this is the set that I always love. I've covered it before. I like I always do it based on the new set so I don't repeat the same set. Obviously that info is out there on my channel if you guys ever want to go, go back and check it out. Type in my name, type in set, you'll probably find it. But then I'll be going over the NFC set, the one regarding Terrell Owens. I did the one with Champ Bailey. The prices have changed a little bit, the method has changed a little bit, so I'm gonna go over all the math for you guys again. I know you guys always love seeing that. And I'm gonna pretty much go over why it's the best set in Madden, who you wanna pick. The whole works for you guys. But before we get into the video, guys, just wanna let you guys know. Make sure to go down below and subscribe. Comment down below, can we get 500 likes in this video? You guys have been killing with the like button. By the way, we hit 17K, so thank you guys so much for that. Couldn't be here without you guys, so I really appreciate you guys each and every day coming out and supporting. Guys, every like and every view just progresses me closer to my goal in life. I'm telling you guys, and right now, 20K is that first goal. That's the next milestone on the list, and hopefully we get there by late February, early March. That's the goal. By the way, guys, I'm going away to Spain for a like a week next week so i will be pre-recording i will be taking a laptop with me i'll try to do my best to get as much content out for you guys but do understand that things are a little bit late that's why but anyways let's get into the video so let's go over to sets now as you guys know my favorite sets in the game are always master sets so last week we did do the champ bailey legend of the playoff set and we picked we told you guys who to pick and everything so now let's do the Terrell Owens for you guys who want to do the Terrell Owens set or want these players instead so the way this set works, exchange three NFC playoff heroes to earn Legends of the Playoffs Terrell Owens, his power-up item, a fantasy pack containing your choice of three Nat NFC players. You get to choose three of the six. Now the six choices are Marshawn Lynch, D. Ford, Devonta Adams, Drew Brees, Daniel Hunter, and Brandon Brooks. Now, you get to choose out of those six. Like I said, the NFC one, I went over who I like there. Now let's do it here. So let's go on in. Now the prices have went down a little bit. So let's break out the calculator right here. On average, you can find these guys. I just see Drew Brees for like 276. If you filter them out properly, you can find them all for about 275, give or take. So, and you only you don't need three different ones. They could all be the same one. So let's do 275 times three. So right now this set, uh, hold up, did I type that in right? 275 times three. Yeah, okay. It costs you about 825,000 coins as of now, which isn't horrible for the set. So 825,000 coins. So once you do that math now let's go check out what terrell owens is going for because that's how the math works and you gotta subtract them remember there are three methods here there's method one two and three i'm gonna go over each and every one in depth which one i which one i typically prefer and how they all work so let's go check out terrell owens kind of see what we're working with here i think terrell owens is really great i don't think he's end game but he's definitely one of the best receivers in madden right now probably the best receiver in madden or at least close to it with randy moss depending on if you value the uh, speed and height a little bit more than the catching the route running so terrell owens is 451 they have come down a little bit so remember Method one implies that you sell him. So we're gonna start with method one. So 825, so you subtract 451. Well, actually no, minus, minus reduction. So you can sell him at night for about like 470. Right here, you can see a little gap. You sell him for like 470 at night. So you can probably get back around like 430. So let's subtract 430K. So right now you've spent 395K so far in the set. Now, that's pretty beautiful as it is, if you guys think about it. So remember this, you get three cards back. <laughs> so let's go back over to the NFL playoffs. Let's go over to the NFC set and let's check out the, the set once again. Now here you go. So you get three back. <clears throat> so in this set, for method one, you the method one pretty much is you do the set, you sell Terrell Owens a uh, power player for like 5k, and then <clears throat> you sell Terrell Owens. That leaves you with a grand total of 395,000 uh, coins worth of debt. So for 395,000 coins, you ended up getting three NAT players. Now there are three of these players. So these players all go. You're about 275 to 300k depending on when what time you buy them which one you're getting so you're getting pretty much a 900k value for 395k so that, that's the first method the first method is you just pick your three you enjoy and remember if you're trying to increase your team you're trying to you're trying to get the overalls up you're trying to have a great team the best way to always do it is these sets because buying 195 for 300k doesn't get your overall much getting 395 is a huge improvement on your team that's why I love this set so much. Now, that's method one. Method one, you spend 395K and you end up with three players. Now, let's, let's see who the players are, right? So there's Marshall Lynch, D Ford, Devonta Adams, Drew Brees, Daniel Hunter, and Dan, um, Brandon Brooks. So let me, get, let me give you guys my top one. So first off, is Marshall Lynch an option, guys? I'm gonna be honest with you, unless you're a Seattle Seahawks team team, Seattle Seahawks diehard, I don't think he's an option with like a 90 speed, even chemmed up and everything. You probably give him like a 91, 92 max with chems like uh you, you can't even get sprinter so it has to be like john madden athleticism i really don't think 
Marshall Lynch isn't move at all. I think he's out. Now, D Ford, great left end. I don't like that his block shed sucks. But if you guys don't mind, he's like a Joey Bosa type. He's like a more athletic Joey Bosa type build. Devontae Adams, a little too slow for my liking, but I do definitely love Devontae Adams in real life. So I went hard pressed to say I don't like him. But <clears throat> his stats don't really match up. Drew Brees, one of the best quarterbacks in Madden right now, but the only issue is that on paper he's the best quarterback. And when you're on the field, he's not going to be able to rush. So that does hurt him. Like his passing stats are insane, but his mobility is going to hurt him because this year, guys, I'm telling you, pressure comes super quick. Escape artist is necessary right now. I know like a lot of you guys don't care for it, but there's a reason why people are, had Andrew Luck for so long because he had escape artist and dashing dead eye. Like he had the two glitchy chems or two, uh, two glitchy abilities. So Daniel Hunter, I think he's one of the options. One of the three. Daniel Hunter is a solid right left end. One of the best left ends in Madden right now. If you don't have a current left end, Daniel Hunter's your guy. Brandon Brooks, one of the best right guards in Madden. So I think that Daniel Hunter and Brandon Brooks are your top two options. Now the third one comes down, in my opinion, to Drew Brees, Devonta Adams, D Ford. If you have no quarterback, you're a pocket passer, or so like if you're no money spent him with an 80 overall and like you just need a quarterback, Drew Brees is solid. Devonta Adams is decent if you have like a Packers team team where you have the right chems. And then D4, if you don't care about blocks, it's solid. I just think that you just can't take Marshall Lynch. I think take, you take Daniel Hunter, Brandon Brook, and one of these three, and you're fine. So now, method two. Method two implies that you do the set again, right? So let's reset the calculator. We're back at 825K. You just did the set for 825K. So now, in this method, you can keep Terrell Owens. So you keep Terrell Owens, right? So now you spend 825k and you end up with four cards, which still isn't a bad value because in theory, you're really only spending like 200k per card. So you get a discount. Honestly, in theory, you're getting every card for a really big discount. So this method, again, doing the full set is not bad. Now remember to alter this method a little bit where you keep Terrell Owens, you can always make it cheaper. So each card goes for about 12,000. Well, they go for 25,000 towards training, but when you when you sell them because they're now you get half back. So you get back 12,600. Now 12,600 with a coins of per of 12 right now. So you times that by 12 and you end up with each card goes for about 151,000 coins worth of training. Even if it's 11, similar stuff. So let's go with about 135K after reduction and everything. 135K per card of training. So 825K, right? So let's say you, you let's say you took Brandon Brooks, Daniel Hunter, and Marshall Lynch. You don't want Lynch. So you sell it, you a quick sell Lynch for training. That training value is pretty much worth 135K. So now you're at about 690. Let's say you also don't want Daniel Hunter, you only want a Brandon Brooks. You can quick sell Daniel Hunter for 135,000 training, technically. Now you're down to 555K. So in essence, you ended up with Terrell Owens, who goes for about 450, 470 himself, and Brandon Brooks, who goes for about 300K for 555. So you get a discount of approximately like 200K. That's method two. And method three is one that I personally recommend for guys like me. Who might only want one specific player so let's say for me i can only start brandon brooks right like you you really want brandon brooks you're like damn i don't want to pay for brandon brooks's price so you're like what do i do i really don't want to pay 300k so this is, this is a method for a guy like a like more of a god squad that can't really use a bunch of these just bulk and that players you can only use like one so you go in here right so let's reset the meter to 825 we're back at angel 25k for the set cost now you get all three of them right so now when you first get to you sell them. again minus 430k minus 5k for his power up Get about 390. Let's say you took Marshall Lynch, Daniel Hunter, and Brandon Brooks. Similar to method two, except you don't keep Terrell Owens. So now you sell. You quick sell Daniel Hunter. That's 12,600 training back, which is 135K. Subtract. Now you're at 255K. Now you're like, okay, so I have Brandon Brooks and I have Marshall Lynch. I don't want Lynch either. I just took him just to take him. Again, subtract 135K. Now you ended up. Now everything's gone. Terrell Owens is gone. Two of your not players are gone. Your power's gone. You end up with one player left. And your total debt is 120k. So think about that. You got a 300k player for 120k. He is not. But if you're gonna power him up, like I always say, if you're gonna power him up anyways, just make him not. Because with what you're gonna lose anyways, like, you're probably gonna once you power him up, you're probably gonna end up keeping him, especially for training purposes, like putting on sprinter, putting on chems, and you already put training on him. Obviously, you can refund it, but still. So that is, I think that's the best way to get one player for like damn near. I don't wanna say free, but damn near super cheap. Now remember, you're gonna say now, oh well, I have now that I have the twenty five thousand two hundred training, that's not really coins, right? What do I do with it? You take it to the store, and you go to the browse store, and you go you go use your training in any way you want, training currency you can buy. What I recommend is, you could theoretically just do a playoff hero. You're gonna be short like six hundred, like uh, what is it? Maybe short like a thousand training. Really, not, that's nothing at all right now. 
You just, you take the two cards, you convert them to a playoff hero, you sell them for 300K, you get back 270, and, you, and again, you end up making like, again, you're back at 120. So that is perfect. It's like, it matches up perfectly. You get one for free. Now, if you're feeling really risky, you can spend it all on those 83 pluses. I don't really recommend that. But like I said, if you do that perfectly, so method one, two cap. You sell Terrell, you keep the three nats, you get three nats for about 400K, 390. It's an insane deal. Method two, you keep Terrell, you quick sell the other three, or you, well, you quick sell all three, you quick sell two. It all depends on you, right? You can, you can just quick sell all of them, but it really doesn't make entire. I think that's more like a keep one, keep Terrell. Method two is not my favorite. Method two is depending on your, your team. I either like method one or method three. Now, the only way I like, the only way I keep Terrell is if I keep all of them. That's just how I do it. I, I usually keep all of them. That's more of like a, if you have a lot of coin kind of set, but I don't really include that as a method because that's not really a method to get anything cheaper. That's just a method to do something. But like I said, method one, sell Terrell, keep three nap players, 390K. Method two, keep Terrell, keep like one nap player, make back enough to where it's like you're getting them all on a discount. Method three, sell everything, keep one nap player for about 120K and you get a steal. You could theoretic theoretically get all three of them for a very cheap price doing that. It's all cheap. That's, that's if you only want like one, right? Because like obviously you don't want every player that like, I cannot start any of those players ever sounds like Brandon Brooks. So for me, it'd be worth it. But that is about it. You can convert training any other way you want, but I think this is the easiest one. It kind of just lines up perfectly with what you're going to have sitting there. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notify bell. Come join the family. Let's see how quickly we can get to 20K. Like I said, we're setting the goal for end of February, early March. If we can hit that, that'd be awesome. That's going to be a huge milestone. So keep it going, though. Always make sure to comment, like the video. Can we get 500 likes in this video? Go crazy with the likes. Comment down below. Noti Gang, if you made it here, if you made it this long, even better. But I'm about, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.